guys, my name is Kitty. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be another weekly reading vlog. So today is Tuesday. Just did some reading sprints on Gabby's channel. I will leave a link down below. We do reading sprints alternating her channel and my channel. Uh, this week was her channel. Um, and we usually do them Tuesdays or Thursdays. Um, like around 6 or 7 Pacific Standard Time. Um, but yeah, we do like you know put the listing so it shows up in uh, the subscription box usually with like the time and everything so um, yeah I was just doing some reading sprints on her channel tonight and I actually read quite a bit I started Death by Laura Thalassa which okay I'm a hundred and ten pages in and it truly feels illegal how much fun I'm having reading this like why do I love this guy so much like it just something's not right up there you know what i mean um <laughs> anyways i'm obsessed i am having the time of my life so yeah i'm on chapter 21 i still have so much these books are so long sometimes unnecessarily long to be honest but when you love the fucking two ma main characters i don't give a fuck how long it is i'll read an 800 page book it's fine um, but it's definitely, okay, like, I don't want to say this because, like, I'm only 110 pages in, and this could change, but I'm really liking this as much as I was liking War. I know, how could I say that? But I really do really, really like Death and, um, Lazarus. What a fucking cool-ass name. I love Death and Lazarus, and just as much as I loved War and Miriam, like, their whole dynamic... It's just, they're so, I don't want to say similar, but they're very similar, you know, in like certain ways. So it's just giving me the fucking vibes that I love for more. Um, like, it's just, I just, <laughs> I'm obs I have no words. I have no fucking coherent thoughts. Just know I'm having a great time, okay? And yeah, so I read 110 pages on sprints. Look at my tabs already. Like, like, that's already, that's a lot, <laughs> considering how long this book is. Um, but yeah, so this is the fourth book in the uh, Four Horsemen series by Lortha Lassa. They're dark romance uh, books. Um, and yeah, I just finished Famine and I wanted to read the fourth book not too long after finishing the third because I just want to close out the series because I have so many series that I have to finish that I didn't want to add another one to the list. So I, and the ending of the third one was just so good that I was like, immediately I want to read this book. And this book is delivering it's giving me everything I never knew I wanted, and I'm so happy about that. So, yeah, I'm really glad that I'm enjoying Death. <laughs> I love them so much. Um, it's been really, it's been very fun watching them, them interact. So that's, like, my reading update. Um, today was also release day for a book that I have been waiting for. Um, I'm really excited to read it, so I went to go pick it up today. Um, and that book is... <laughs> I don't know why I framed it. It sounds like I'm, like, introducing, like, something. Um, I picked up these Infinite Threads by Tahira Mafi. I read This Woven Kingdom last year, and I really enjoyed it. I think I ended up giving that book four stars. I do remember the pacing of that book is kind of weird. It's a, it's a slower-paced book with a lot of action towards, like, the end. Um, and kind of once I figured it out, because when I was first reading it, I was like, when is something going to happen? But once I kind of wrapped my head around it being, like, a slower book... I really, really enjoyed it, and the ending was really fun. I really liked Elise. I hated Cameron, which is like the prince. It's like a forbidden love, warring kingdoms type of thing. Um, and this is the second book. It was released today on the 7th of February. I cannot wait to jump into this. So before I read this, I do have to look up kind of a summary of This Woven Kingdom because I kind of forgot how it ended. Um, I do remember like the general ending because it was very dramatic. Um, and it introduced like a new magical element, but I forgot like the standing of everybody's characters um, And that seems like it's going to be like a very important Thing of this book um, because it is very like political type of thing forbidden romance um, I just really did not like Cameron in the first book I think he's an idiot and I don't like him for Elise and at the end of well I guess kind of like hinted throughout the first book there's kind of like a hint of a love triangle and usually I hate love triangles like they are the worst thing the worst trope, I hate them, but 
in this woven kingdom because i hated uh cameron so much and i thought he was so annoying i was actually really hoping for a love triangle and i'm actually really hoping she ends up with the other guy who knows what'll happen but that's like my wish for her because cameron is a fucking idiot um so yeah this one i think is going to be very focused on cameron which i'm like please no but here we are um, anyways, the series follows Elise, who is, like, a jinn princess. Uh, all the jinn people have been, like, massacred, so she's in hiding. Um, but she's kind of found out by the prince, uh, the descendant of, um, the people that basically massacred all the jinn. So, you know, they're, like, you know, they're forbidden lovers type of thing. So, yeah, this is the second book. I think it's supposed to be a trilogy. I'm not sure. Maybe it's a duology. Who really knows? Uh, not me. But, um, I am excited about it. And it's such a pretty book, like it's really pretty. So I picked that up, and then I also picked up The Spite House by Johnny Compton. I've been hearing nothing but good things about this. Um, I think it was released today, or like maybe like a day before, because I've seen it a couple of times. Um, but I know it's like a newer release, and it's like a haunted house type of story, um, which I really enjoy. So I'm excited to read this. Um, but yeah, I picked this up and I picked this up because it's like buying things that I don't need apparently. Um, but yeah, so that's my update for now. Um, I'm gonna go to sleep now and I will update you guys tomorrow once I read a little bit more of Death because I really want to get through this ASAP because I love Death and Lazarus. Yes. Okay, bye. guys so today it is a thursday um so yesterday was a was a bad mental health day <laughs> no reading was done at all um and i just i felt shit like i felt like shit mentally physically yesterday so i took the day to just like do mindless activities so i think I watched a couple episodes of Demon Slayer because I started re-watching Demon Slayer because I apparently like to make myself suffer. Uh, so I re I watched a couple episodes of that. And then I watched Amelie, which is like one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, it's I'm sure you guys have heard of it. It's that French film. Uh, very popular, very... I'm not like other girls. I'm quirky, different, mysterious... You know, you know the film I'm talking about. If you don't, I'll, I'm sure I put the picture up. But yeah, I rewatched that. Love that movie. So good. Um, and I didn't want to read because I was just not in the mood. Um, yeah, just a lot of I was I was I feel like yesterday was a day for me to kind of like rework my whole mentality because like I journaled and like I just I was thinking <laughs> I was thinking a lot. I feel like I don't usually think that much in my day to day, but I was having a lot of thoughts. This sounds so stupid, but whatever. I was just thinking so much yesterday and I was journaling and I feel like I was like rewiring my brain yesterday um, and just reevaluating my life as like how it's going now. Um, not that my life is bad or anything like that. Uh, I was just trying to see like wh where I wanted to like change some aspects of my life. So I was doing that yesterday pondering existence i feel so much better today like oh my god like i feel energized and like i'm just like i like life today uh let's see how long this lasts <laughs> i come back like in a day or two and just like sad again but i feel good today i feel good so today i already went to the gym i walked olive i've been very productive today gone to work um and now i do feel like picking up my book so i'm gonna continue reading death and I also am thinking I'm going to start episode 13 by, who's the guy, uh, Craig D. Louis. I'm going to start that because it's kind of a chunky book and I just want to make sure that I'm like, I finish it before the live show for Amy's book club. Like I just, I want to be sure that I, you know, like I read it and I can like, you know, think about it and like, you know, make notes and stuff because I really do want to like actively participate. 
um, in their book club at the end of the month. So I, I, I feel like I want to read it now just to make sure that it's like I do it and like it's done, you know. So I'm going to start it today as well. So I'll probably switch between those two. It's been a while since I've read multiple books at once, but I kind of miss that. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to read Death and I'm going to start episode 13. So that's the plan. Um, I still have like a bunch of other books I need to finish, but you know, that is just, that is how it is when you're a mood reader. I don't make the decisions here, okay? I just have to follow along with whatever my brain says and... Right now she's saying start episode 13, so I'm like, okay, whatever you say. Uh, okay, anyways, I'll see you guys later. Okay, so it's a little bit later. I have done some reading, but more importantly, I have finally got my bookish box uh, special editions of A Touch of Darkness series. They're stunning. They're truly stunning. Um, wow, yeah, these are gorgeous. I think I ordered these last year in like july august time i'm pretty sure i got them i ordered these like before i moved out so yeah it's been a while but they're so gorgeous like they're so pretty so i'm gonna show them to you guys so first off we have a touch of darkness um so here is the alternate dust jacket it's so fucking pretty like the artist that does these like holy shit so we have that um these are the sprayed edges that come with the book stunning and then so the end pages like so wow like fucking gorgeous and look at that foiling like <laughs> it's so pretty um, and then we also have like these reversible just jackets with alternate art inside just fucking it's so pretty like <laughs> it's so pretty uh, makes me want to reread the freaking series again not that I have finished it but I have read the first two so I got touch of darkness second book is a game of fate look at Hades contemplating that skull death love it um, yes I love this here are these sprayed edges for focus for a game of fate um, and then if we take off the dust jacket, this is the foiling on the front. So pretty. And this is the alternate dust jacket. Some more art from the book. Oh, these are so pretty. So I read these two. A Game of Fate literally <laughs> changed something inside of me when I read it. Um, it's one of my favorite books of 2022. And we've got A Touch of Ruin. This is the book I'm scared of picking up. This is the one. This is the third book. I'm terrified because someone told me what happens in this. I'm so scared. I'm so scared, but this cover is stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. Here are the sprayed edges. So pretty. Um, this one actually has... Look at these end pages. <laughs> so pretty. Um, so here we have the foiling. So pretty. This, like, alternate, like, um, dust jacket has exactly what I picture Hades looking like. Like, this is what he looks like in my brain. When I, like, read the books, like, I was picturing this. It's crazy. Like, wow. Nailed it. So, yeah, we've got Hades and Persephone on the inside. I have to read this book. And I feel inspired by these beautiful special editions to pick this up. I'm so scared, but I'm going to. I'm going to do it. Um, and then we have A Game of Retribution. Fourth book, Stunning Hades. I, I'm, I'm going to tandem read, read these two. Like, there's just no fucking way that I can't know both perspectives. So I'm going to tandem read them. Um, but these are the sprayed edges. Okay. Yeah, so these are the sprayed edges. Um, and then end pages. Wow, so pretty. Foiling so pretty and then the alternate dust jacket like yes <laughs> yes absolutely absolutely they look so good um i hope that they do like these bookish box special editions for i think how many more is there there's malice and then i think the yeah there's i think three more 
in the series. So I hope that they do special editions of these for those three books so that I could have like a complete set. But we'll see. Because one of them is A Touch of Malice, which is out. And then the other two, I forget the, the name of the other two books. They literally just went up for pre-order a couple days ago. So hopefully when those come out, they'll do like another bookish box, like special editions. Because I would love to have the whole set. But they're just so fucking pretty. Um, I want to display these so bad, but I don't have enough space <laughs> in my bookshelves. So they're just going to go in, but they are gorgeous. And I'm going to read this. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So I'm going to put these in my shelves. I just wanted to show them to you because, like, they're just so fucking pretty. I think these are, like, the prettiest books that I own. Um, yeah. One of the prettiest books that I own because I own some really nice books recently because of the bookish box actually. So yeah, um, that's probably my last bookish box unboxing for a while unless they do these like special editions. Um, but I am, I think I found a subscription box that I want to sign up to. And the signups open up tomorrow at 7 in the morning. So I'm going to try and get, I'm going to try and get that box. So, fingers crossed I do. I will let you guys know. My phone is ringing somewhere, but I have no idea where it is. So today is Friday um, and yesterday I did do a lot of reading so I do have quite a bit of updates. So yesterday I started episode 13 by Craig D. Louis. Um, I only got to page 24 um, so I just started it. The writing is like super super like simplistic straightforward writing which I actually do like for a book like this because it just makes it easy to like fall into it and you don't really have to pay that much attention to the language like you can just read it like it's just very straightforward and I actually really like that for this uh, type of book um, so yeah I literally just started we're getting introduced to like the characters you know the people that are in this reality TV show we're getting introduced to this um, what was it called paranormal research foundation we're, t we're getting introduced into what the Paranormal Research Foundation was, what it did, experiments that it conducted and stuff like that. So really in the beginning, but I am enjoying it. So I am excited to continue. I was going to continue this yesterday because um, I was like, oh, I'll just read like a little bit of death and then I'll like jump into episode 13. No, no, I read so much of death last night. I'm on page 266 now. What the fuck? This book is so good. Like, this book is so good. Like, I'm like, damn, is this going to be, like, my number one? Like, is this going to be my number one? Wow. So much shit happens. So much fucked up shit happens. I was, like, in shock at some of the scenes. I was like, wow, that's fucking... That's literally a nightmare. Like, you're describing a nightmare I've had. Like, no fucking way. Um... This is just so good. It's like literally everything I wanted from fam from famine. Um, oh yes, I love death. So yeah, this has been very like dark and emotional. Um, exactly what I wanted from this series. Um, I love fucking. I love that one. That aspect of dark romance where things are just so horrible, but you get like these like very sweet romance like interactions between people. Um, 
and I I love death like he is so clueless like he's such a clueless being and I I love him like he doesn't know anything and yet is like this ancient being that knows everything but has like no idea what being human is like no concept of it at all um he's literally out of the four brothers like he is the most clueless man in existence but he's just so straightforward and he's like i don't understand what you're saying what does that mean and lazarus i mean i love her like i love her um Miriam is still like my favorite like female main character that we have seen so far. I freaking love Miriam. But I feel like War and Death's books are very similar in like the tropes that they use between the two like main characters. Um, and I think that's why I'm enjoying this so much. But they're very like also they're very different obviously because Miriam and Lazarus and War and Death are different like characters. But I think the situations they find themselves in are like reminiscent to each other. So I think that's why I like it so much because they share a lot of tropes. Done in different ways, obviously. They share a lot of tropes that I just, I fucking love them. And I, I want to talk about them, but I don't really want to spoil the book. So I won't talk about the tropes specifically. But I just wanted to say that there are similar tropes in both War and Death that I really fucking enjoy. Um, so that's, I think, why this is going to be like one of my faves. I don't know if it'll top War like right now possibly but you know i still have a quite a bit of the book left so we'll see how it ends and what happens but yeah this is really really good and i'm having such a good time um yeah it's just been it's been really fun uh so yeah that's my update on death and episode 13 so i'm gonna continue reading these um but yeah i had a great time last night <laughs> like I literally just sat for hours just listening to this. I found this ambient sounds room where there's like, it's basically like, let's say that somebody played the Twilight movie, but they put it on like a really low level and it's kind of like muffled. And in the background, you can like hear the song, like hear like music and that's clear, but like the talking is like muffled. Um, and for some reason, like I really enjoy like that type of like ASMR, like where you can't really like, hear specifically what people are saying but like you can f hear people like talking around you I don't know what it was about that like but I literally like was so focused and I was just like reading and just like nothing in the world could bother me um I really enjoyed it so I replayed that ASMR room like five times or something the whole like time I was reading because I was just really enjoying it so I will leave it linked below um I really like that um, ASMR room. I think that's probably gonna be the one I listen to the most. I'm gonna look for more, um, like, videos like that where, like, the talking is, like, muffled with, like, music. Um, because for some reason that really helps my brain, like, really, like, focus on reading and just sit there and just, like, read. Um, so, yeah. Aside from that, today is Monday. Today is Friday. Um, I gotta go to work. I'm actually gonna go get a coffee and then I'm gonna go to work. Um, but I did want to give you guys those updates on death and episode 13. I think I'm going to take episode 13 to work so I can read it when I don't have things to do because I think I can't read death at work. Like I'm literally screaming, crying, like I, I can't, like I can't bring that with me. So I think I'm going to bring episode 13 so I can get some reading done because let's be honest, once I start death, like I'm not picking up anything else until I finish, <laughs> until I finish death. So yeah. We gotta give her a fair shot to get read. So I'm gonna take that with me. And that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give you guys that update. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys later.
Hey guys, so today it's Saturday. I got home from work a little bit ago. Um, and yeah, today's kind of like my Friday because on Sunday I don't have work. So today I'm actually going to be on Lexi's sprints. Um, Lexi and Sarah are doing 24 hour um, reading sprints to read the Mindfuck series by ST Abbey. I read that series, I think like two years ago? A year ago? I don't remember. I think I read it in 2021 though. Um, but yeah, I read that series already. It's so good. So if you haven't heard of the Mindfuck series, it's uh, five books. Uh, they're all on Kindle Unlimited. And they follow a woman who is a serial killer um, and her romance with an FBI agent. But the romance isn't like, it's like, obviously it's present. It, you know, develops and it plays a role. But at the same time, it's like, the romance isn't the driving force of the of the entire series for the first book, maybe, but as we kind of like continue and we, re we learn why this woman is killing all these people, it gets really dark, horrible, just super, super fucked up, has so many content warnings. Please look them up if you plan on picking up the Mindfuck series, but it's so good. It's so good. Um, I literally binged that series um when i first picked it up because i just i couldn't like i couldn't stop it was so good <laughs> so yeah um they're reading that series i'm gonna be joining them i think at nine um and i'll just stay on for as long as i can um but i'm excited because i do have quite a bit of reading that i would like to get done today but i don't know how like long i will be able to stay awake um but either way, I will be making myself a cup of coffee right now. I'm going to try and be on the sprints for a couple of hours and see if I can get a good chunk of my books read. I don't think I would finish any of my books because I'm still kind of like, I still have a lot of pages left. Um, with Death, I am on page 266. Um, I mean, I love it. I fucking love this book. Um, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I, I love this. And... Um, Yesterday, I mostly read just um, episode 13 by Craig D. Louie. Uh, so I got up to page 79. Um, yeah, I got to page 79. So I think I'm going to be reading this on sprints tonight because I do want to get a big chunk of this read. Um, because I know that this, I can just like binge read it. T probably tomorrow, I'll just sit down and just like stay here forever um and i love reading romance like alone like just like so i can fully engage in just like super loud and crying laughing just squealing like in peace so i like to read romance when i'm alone you know just chilling i don't like to read it on sprints so i just wanted to give you guys the update that i i am further into death but oh my god i can't wait so this is going to be my sunday read for sure but for tonight i'm going to try and get a big chunk of episode 13 read it's formatted similarly to dracula except like obviously like updated technology like they're not telegrams in here but there's like text messages audio recordings gopro footage um obviously like footage it's being like described to you like there's parts where it'll say like room pans out blah blah, blah. like it's described to you like what you're seeing if you were looking at the footage itself um and it's kind of like explained to explain to you like that there's also video of like what the research foundation did because when they go into the building they find out like that they still have all these like files there so it kind of like shows that as well um but yeah i'm really excited about it i do like the formatting i really did enjoy this type of formatting in dracula um, i'm trying to think of another book that has similar formatting um but I can't. But I did enjoy it and I am enjoying it in this one. So I think maybe that type of formatting. I know there's a name for it, but I can't think of the name right now. Um, that type of format in books I think works well with me. But yeah, so I'm going to continue reading this on sprints. So I will update you guys once you know I'm off and see how much I read. Uh, but for now, I'm going to go make myself that cup of coffee so that I can stay up and, you know be able to jump into episode 13 so i will update you guys a little bit later hey guys so um it is 11 now um and i am now on page 256 of episode 13 so i read quite a bit i feel like i'm like probably like 55 60 percent through um and i'm really enjoying this book so far um yes it's it's taken the turn that i really wanted it to take 
and we're focusing more on the foundation and everything like the paranormal research foundation um we're learning more about what they were up to and you know uh it's it's been very fun the only thing i'm worried about is that the ending won't be good um, I'm just scared that the ending won't be satisfying because I'm like, how do you end a book like this? Like, how do you end a book like this? It's giving like cosmic horror vibes as well because we have these people dealing with these like mind-boggling truths um, and not knowing how to deal with those truths um, and just kind of being like blindsided and trying to rationalize the irrational um which i think is a good marker for like cosmic horror uh because it's like you don't know what's going on and you can't logically think your way out of it and that's what makes it so like you know that's what makes it cosmic horror what makes you lose your mind um so it's giving cosmic horror vibes for sure but it's definitely gotten so interesting from my last update like I was worried it was going to be like, it was going to fall flat because we had such a huge haunting that I was like, well, where is it going to go from here? Like, what could you do now that you've done it all? You know, uh, completely wrong. <laughs> They're going full force and it's really fun. I like all the science. It's definitely focused more on science. And I've been like Googling a bunch of stuff because I, I'm obviously not like a physics you know, major or PhD or masters or anything like that. I took a year of physics in college and that's about it <laughs> so I, I've, I know the very very basic things about physics so I've been researching like different principles that are mentioned and like uh, syndromes that come up and stuff so I've been like researching that because I find it really interesting so I have like a tab specifically for like research like things I've researched that is mentioned to see if it's like true you know like obviously I can't say like are the physics of this whole thing like accurate because like I'm not a physicist but from what I've googled, like, it seems accurate, you know, but like, again, take that with a grain of salt. If there is a physicist that knows if this book is accurate or not, let me know. Um, but I'm having a really good time with it. I'm just scared that I'm not going to, like, be satisfied with the ending because what could you possibly do? What could you possibly, like, how could you possibly end this book? Like, I don't know. So far, I am really enjoying it, though. Um, yeah, I'm going to continue reading. Um... Hopefully, I don't know how far I'll get in, but like, what if I like finish the book? Like, that'd be kind of crazy, huh? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna continue reading. There's like nine minutes of the sprint, so I'm gonna read for nine more minutes um, and then hop on. So, those are my updates with episode 13 so far. Hey guys, so today is Sunday. Uh, so, yesterday, um, I think I ended up logging off of sprints at like around 1 30 in the morning. So, I ended up getting to page 300 and 10 of episode 13 so i'm almost done just have this much left essentially so i'm gonna finish this today i haven't read any of death yet but i kind of want to finish this first and then i'll just like jump back into death um so yeah i think that's a plan maybe if i get bored of this i'll go to death or i'll switch between the two or something but yeah that's um the plan for sunday i'm actually going to be staying home pretty much all sunday um, I usually don't, like, I usually go out, um, a lot on Sundays, but I'm just real tired and I just want to stay in my bed <laughs> and read and not do anything. Um, the only thing is I think I'm going to go get a coffee and then I'm going to come back and just stay home for the rest of the day, um, and just read. Sounds like the perfect way to spend my Sunday, honestly, so that's the plan. I'm going to keep this vlog going until I finish episode 13 and death so I can like round out the vlog um so let's see how much reading we get done today uh, maybe we can finish both books um I don't know I feel kind of crazy so um but yeah that's a plan for right now I'm gonna go grab a coffee and then we can settle in for a whole day of reading so yeah <laughs>
episode 13. Um, and I'm going to give this book four stars. I really enjoyed the formatting. Um, it's actually, it's in here what it's called. Um, it is called Epistolary, Epistolary. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Um, so it ha it's that formatting. I really, really enjoy formatting like this. I think it makes reading it really fun and engaging. Um, so I do really enjoy the formatting of this book. I really like the story. Um, I really like how just kind of like how dark and confusing it gets and how like distorted reality becomes. I really enjoy that when it comes to like ghost hunting in this way. Um, it definitely reminds me a lot of Grave Encounters. Um, if you like the movie, you should definitely read this book. I think they're very similar in how reality just becomes super distorted and how that wreaks havoc on the human mind. Very cosmic horror as well. Uh, with like a whole ghost thing um, especially towards the end um, but my thing is like I didn't really like the ending I didn't hate it but I think I would have preferred more ambiguity for everyone involved I think that would have been a better ending for me um, but like I feel like it tried to explain the unexplainable and I think that kind of like just took me out of it because I was like there's just no way that you can explain what happened in this book, you know, like, I think I would have preferred a more ambiguous ending. Um, yeah, I wasn't a fan of the ending, but like, I was I didn't hate it, you know, I was just like, whatever, but like, it was definitely not how I would have ended, how I would have wanted this book to end. Um, truthfully, I don't know how exactly I would want this book to end. Um, but I enjoyed the ride, you know, like, I really did enjoy my time reading the book even if the ending wasn't like what I wanted. Um, so yeah, it was really fun. I'm glad I read it. I really did enjoy it. I want to read more books like this um, because they're just so fun. Just love like mind bending books. Um, and yeah, I had, a I had a lot of fun like researching some concepts and stuff. I thought it was fun. Um, but yeah, the ending, not a fan. Not a fan of what ghosts are. Like I don't, I wasn't a fan of how of the explanation of what ghosts are because like I just it doesn't really make sense to me um I didn't really enjoy it like the whole I just didn't enjoy the reasoning of why ghosts in this book do what they do I didn't like the explanation given that's why I think it would have been stronger had it been more ambiguous but yeah so that's my only thing with this book I thought it was a really good time I definitely recommend it um if you like you know ghost cosmic -y horror i think this is a really good one and if you liked grave encounters this is really good very very similar um but yeah so that is my reading update i'm actually gonna go take a shower and then i'm gonna jump into death hey guys so i finished death finished death <laughs> oh okay i wrote some thoughts down because the way that this wrecked me hard like oh my god okay so <laughs> i finished this um a little while ago and wow what a fucking ending okay when i read the epilogue i i kid you not i kid you not the last final like five sentences paragraph or whatever i a sob was ripped out of me like unlike it wasn't even i mean what sob is intentional or whatever but like i was so surprised by it like it literally caught me out of nowhere and this sob just like was taken out of my body and i literally my eyes immediately started watering it's never happened to me before <laughs> like i'll tell you that i that has never happened to me before but like the sob just ripped out of my fucking body um eyes fucking teared up i was just like like devastated but like also so satisfied with the ending like i didn't know how the ending of the series was going to be like i literally didn't really have an idea of how you would go about ending such a wild riot of a series like it just like how can you you know like it, it, there's no way like that my mind could think of like how would you like end this and how would it feel satisfying and that was my biggest concern was like i feel like i'm not gonna be satisfied with the ending nope nope this book has the perfect ending i've ever read i mean i 
I don't know. I can't, obviously, like, I can't think back to every single fucking book I've read. Um, but I know it's been a while. Let's say that. It's been a while since I have been completely satisfied and just been like, wow, what a fucking fantastic way to end a series. Like, I could not ask for anything different. I don't think any other ending would have suited the book. Like, and the series as a whole, because it's kind of closing out like a series, essentially. I don't think any other ending than the one we get would have satisfied me personally as a reader. I think this is the only ending that worked for me. It was so devastating, but so incredibly satisfying at the same time. Like, it's such a weird feeling to have. And I literally didn't expect myself to have this, like, reaction to death. Like, the whole series, like, you know, it's been up and down. Like... Pestilence was fun, but it wasn't like my favorite. War, I mean, I had the time of my life. Famine, I was disappointed, but it was still fun. And like death, I, I have like no words for the book. Like it was, it was, the ending was just glorious. Like it was just so good. It was so good. Um, so like the whole series as a whole has been an up and down kind of like experience for me. Um, so I guess I just, I wasn't, I just, I literally, I, I wasn't prepared to have such like a, like such an emotional response to the series because it's not like every single book I've been like, I love these people, you know, like the, the characters change, the world evolves, it's not the same people you follow from the first to the last, like I just, I did not think I was going to have that type of reaction, just like the formatting of the story, what the story's about, like the epilogue took me out. I cannot begin to express how much I enjoyed that ending. Um, it might be, I don't know, like, it's a very final ending. It's very clean cut, as clean cut as a book like this can be, you know, just with the subject matter. But for me, it's like a very clean cut ending. And usually I don't really care for endings like that. I do kind of like a little bit of like an ambiguous ending. The fact that like episode 13, which I also read in this vlog, had such a, had such a ending that gave too much information I didn't like. But this, I don't, the way that it, that Laura Thalassa did it, I, I, it was just perfect for me. It was literally perfect for what I wanted from this series. I couldn't have asked for anything else. Couldn't have asked for anything else. Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, so if you haven't guessed, I gave this five stars. <laughs> so I think what this book did really well and what I really liked about the whole series in general was that the book never felt preachy. Even though the series is based around the four horsemen of the apocalypse, which are sent by God, it never felt preachy. Personally, I don't believe in God, so I was kind of worried that it was going to feel preachy, like it was trying to, you know, talk about religion and whatever and God saving humanity, blah, blah, blah. But it never felt like that, and I, I really liked that about that because if it hadn't been preachy, I wouldn't have continued reading because I would have just been like, no, thank you. But it never felt preachy, but it did kind of like discuss like what humanity is. And it was, it never felt like humanity could be described as black and white. Like, are you good or are you bad? It, I feel like it kind of showed that humans can be cruel, but can be good. And there's kind of like, everything is gray. You know, the world is not black and white, it's gray. And I feel like the series tackled that kind of like discussion really well in the terms of like humanity and is humanity worth saving, blah, blah, blah. So I think it did that really well. So even though it deals with God and like if you yourself don't believe in God or do whatever, um, it never feels preachy which I really like. So if you were thinking about reading this series and you were kind of put off by that, it's not a preachy book, to be honest. God is obviously referenced many times, but it never feels preachy. Like, it really doesn't. Okay, so now, ranking-wise, I know, I, I have been, I have been going over this for the whole, like, ever since I finished it, I've been thinking, and even yesterday while I was, like, still had, like, 80 pages left, I was still like, hmm, like, how would I rank the series? So, my favorite book of the series is still going to be War. I love War and Miriam. I think they're still like my top favorite. I just love them so much. <laughs> I do. But close second, and I mean really, really, really close. Like they could literally be, you know, same ranking, but I'm, I'm going to, you know, specify. But very close second, very, very close is Death and Lazarus. I love these two so much. I love Death. He, oh my god, he was such an idiot. Like, he made me so mad. But 
he was so funny and he was so clueless and their dynamic was so fun so war death pestilence which i even because pestilence like all the other horsemen show up in this and pestilence like <laughs> i want to give that man a hug i want to give his book another shot because now that i know i'm like maybe i will actually rate his book higher like you know i kind of want to give pestilence another shot but we're gonna go war death pestilence and famine that is my ranking of the four horsemen series um i think the series as a whole i think i mean it was really fun i would give it like a 4.5 because i can't I feel like i can give it a five because like i feel like a five i would have to have loved every single book you know but it's really fun and i just had a great time um so that is like my ranking <laughs> of the four horsemen series had a really good time with with death um, I'm glad that I like jumped into it right after I finished Famine and I like officially closed out another series because I really need to do that um, and it's going to be so satisfying to like check off that square for this book on my series tracker um, but yeah it was a really fun time so I definitely recommend Lorith Lasso's Four Horsemen series if you haven't read a lot of dark romance but want to get into it I feel like this one obviously it's dark so dark things do happen but I, I feel like it's more like, it's a f more beginner friendly dark romance, but it's still a dark romance. So go into it knowing that it's still a dark romance, but I think it's a more beginner friendly dark romance. So if you've been wanting to get into it, that like subgenre romance, I do recommend doing the Four Horsemen series. Um, and maybe if you like like darker fantasies, then I think you would also enjoy um, this series as well. It's so fun. So, yeah, I feel so much better now that I was able to, like, discuss my fucking emotional response to death because, <laughs> like, I was at work and I was, like, like, it did not know what to do, did not know what to do. So, yeah, we did it. So, <laughs> in this vlog, what did we read? I think death and episode 13, right? Two chunky books. I'm really proud of myself for that one, actually. So, I think I might pick up Spite House next by, I think his name, by... Jonathan Compton next because I kind of want to jump into a horror um but I do want to pick up another ice planet now because I'm in the mood so that's probably what I will be reading next but that's pretty much it for this vlog I hope you guys enjoyed it um let me know if you've read the four horsemen series and what your like ranking is if you've read them so yeah if you did enjoy this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to keep up with more content for me and I'll see you guys in my next video bye